Many of our families, our patients, our staff talk about that bridge as the bridge to independence. And as of tonight and forevermore, it is now the Leninger Bridge to Independence. Gail got injured in 1983 in October in an airplane crash in Canada. And I called back to my headquarters and told my key officers at the time, I said, she's got a severe head injury. Find me the best place that she could have a chance to rehab at. And over a few days, they came back and kept saying Craig Hospital in Denver. And I was a little angry at that. Uh, I felt that my staff was just trying to take care of me and get me back to the Denver market. And uh, how the hell could it be that one of the best hereditary places in the world could be in her own home? But we finally got an air ambulance back eight or 10 weeks into it. And uh, they got us to the hospital and we came in and I'm looking around. Now we've been in intensive care for all these weeks and all of a sudden here's all these yahoos and jeans and shorts and sweatshirts and they're crawling around on the ground and I'm looking at that thinking, well, what the hell over? What kind of a place are we in? But it took a couple days and I kind of figured it out and uh, I was pretty damn amazed. The caring, the compassion, the people, it was pretty darn amazing. And uh, I wasn't really the best spousal unit to come to a uh, rehab center. I was pretty demanding and pretty irritable and uh, pretty much wanted everything done my way, but somehow or another there were kind and caring enough people that walked me through it and I didn't kill anybody, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> so fast forward 30 some years and I end up critically injured and uh, Sky Ridge wants to put me into hospice and uh, my family refused that. Uh, they moved me to Swedish. Uh, they decided to try to admit me to Craig. Uh, one thing or another, somehow or another, I got admitted here and uh, it was a pretty amazing adventure for me. Um, I wasn't the easiest patient that Craig ever had. As a matter of fact, I was pretty single-minded and pretty one way, and I really didn't give a damn what they thought. Uh, I'd made up my mind I was going to walk out of the hospital. Well, sometimes that works and sometimes that doesn't, so I got, got lucky enough to get out of the place. But I will tell you, um, I've been in the hospital many times. Usually it's for a day or two for a knee injury or broken ribs or whatever. And I discovered a different type of person. The doctors, the nurses, the therapists, the technicians, that when you are surrounded month after month after month, instead of you're just there for one or two days, is very different. You learn about their families, wives and husbands, marital problems and financial problems and their own personal family issues and you become family. You aren't just there for a day or two, you're there 24 seven, month after month after month. And I discovered in my journey the incredible compassion and love and caring of the most amazing group of people in my life. Gail and I built Remax. We're service oriented. Uh, we built the best real estate company in the world with customer satisfaction rankings. Uh, what we did was nothing. That's all right. Uh, I keep dropping my stick every place. But it's just. It's nothing compared to what these people do 
24-7, week after week, month after month, year after year. One of my therapists was actually one of Gail's therapists 30 years before. How do you explain that? So anyway, uh, Mike and Mary came to us and said they wanted to do some rehab and do something really special with Craig. And uh, fortunately, Gail and I had become successful financially, and we said we'd be glad to make a significant donation if that would help them go along. And he said, well, do you want to name a building after you? Do you want to name a floor? you want this or that? And yeah, Gail and I are pretty shy. We really are. You know, it was just like, no, we don't want anything. And then finally, they came back to us a while back and said, well, the bridge, which is pretty cool, we both spent a lot of time on that bridge. And they wanted to call it, I think you said, Leniger Bridge to what? Independence, but we and changed it to Max's Playground. Max's Playground. <laughs> Leniger Bridge to Independence. And I have to tell you something. That tickles my fancy. Because when you're a quadriplegic and your bed is your toilet, not a bedpan, and you can't brush your teeth, you can't feed yourself, you can't shave, you can't sit up, you can't scratch your nose if it itches, and you've given up all the independence in the world, and every one of the Craig patients goes through this. You go through this terrible time period of saying, well, yesterday I could do everything I wanted. I'd get up, get myself a glass of water, I go with the potty, I could dress myself, and all of a sudden, you've lost your independence. And I think that most of us that have gone through Craig have figured out that the nurses, therapists, doctors, technicians are all trying to give us some hope that we can get back as much of that independence as we possibly can. And to Mike, Gail and I didn't want anything named after us at all, but I will tell you what, that is an extraordinary honor because independence is freedom. Independence is a chance to recapture part of what you were before you were hurt. We are so thrilled and so thankful for what everybody at Craig has done for Gail and I. There are no words to explain it. We have a quality of life we never thought we'd ever get back. Thank you to everybody at Craig, and thanks for everybody donating. Thank you. Thank you all so much for your support of Craig Hospital. As Dave explained, it means so much to both of us, and we truly appreciate that. I learned 42 years ago that uh, kids, dog acts, and Dave Linegar are a hard act to follow, and so I'd like to turn the program back over to Mike. <laughs>